Uh, hello everyone, this is an England handball update from the previous Youth League WebExes that took place during February. Overview of the meeting notes that came out of those meetings and the actions that England handball are going to look to put through for next season. So the main things that I'll be covering today are the communication of England handball and how we look to communicate in the future, uh, potential tournament options for next season, um, and then finally the registration dates and the start of the season. So. In terms of communication, um, we're aware that teams want some, a platform that's going to be allow them to communicate um, not just with England Hamble directly, but also communicate from team to team. So uh, we're aware as well that teams wanted to uh, have some sort of way of, when they're at tournaments communicating with teams if they're running late and that sort of stuff. So we're looking at options around either creating internal England Hamble Facebook groups or social media groups. Uh, or other some sort of platforms such as Flock or Slack to uh, link teams all together. Uh, and hopefully we'll have that in position uh, certainly towards the end of this season and definitely in place uh, for the start of next season to allow clubs an easier communication platform. We're also aware that the England Humble Club Finder hasn't been working particularly well. The idea of that being that it should allow teams to get email addresses uh, and contact details of other teams in the leagues. Um, but that doesn't appear to have been the case uh, with, it at work, with it not working so well. In tournaments, there was some conversations around uh, the structure of the youth leagues and what we're looking to do for next season based on the feedback that we took from the WebEx meetings is to move to a more regionalised format. So we'll move away in the south from the south one, south two format. Uh, and instead teams will compete in their individual regionalised leagues. The idea of this is to reduce travel as much as possible. Uh, it will still operate on a playoff system. Where this time, though, it, rather than moving to a South One, South Two, um, we will continue down a regional format with basically the, the top regional winners moving forward to playoffs from their area. A um, number of reasons for that, mainly uh, one being the travel, but then also two, uh, it was quite evident that some teams are in very different stages of development compared to other teams. So we have some teams and clubs that um, are unsure of their youth league or unsure of their youth team and think they have a team at the start of the season but aren't quite sure and then we have others that are, have an established youth team for a number of years. So what we're looking to do is have a under 19, under 16, under 14 tournament which is an England handball competition and then we'll also look to put in the calendar under 19, under 16, under 14 development days or development weekends or development tournaments which will allow teams to come in, run them as a round robin competition and not necessarily have to have all the laborious ITCs, memberships, uh, and that's specifically aimed for those clubs that are, are in that development stage. Uh, moving on to registration dates, it was clear uh, that at the start of September there were a huge number of forfeited games for for multitude of reasons. So we will be pushing back the England handball start dates and registration dates. So where previously you used to have to register in uh, July uh, to start in September, we will now be closing registration for leagues in mid-September, in mid-September, with the first round of fixtures happening towards the end of October. What this does do, of course, is it means that we lose a round on the monthly programmes, but hopefully it will allow teams to be more prepared for the start of the season. Cup and under-19 clashes. Um, obviously, what we have in the situation at the moment is that we are running the Cup on prescribed weekends, running the under-19 competition on prescribed weekends, and having fixed dates in the calendar. In a four-week month, we have a GB weekend, we have two um, senior league matches, and then that only leaves us with one weekend free, which we have to fit in either the Cup or the under-19. Um, now, I'm aware that a number of uh, a couple of clubs have indicated that they would want those weekends separated out. Uh, ultimately, the under-19s or the Cup has to clash with something in this current for in this current structure. Um, one of the potential solutions for that is is dictating the dates that those are played on so normally under 19 is played on a Sunday currently uh, and we'll look to continue with that and then what we'll look to do is prescribe the day that a cup game has to be played on so for example a cup game has to be played on a Saturday the under 19 has to be played on a Sunday to try and give the flexibility for that um, obviously we're always aware that these are two separate squads under 19s and senior leagues although there are some crossover between the players they are separate squads and they are viewed in, in our eyes as that uh, but we'll take on board that feedback and try and separate those out as best we can for next season.